latest on June the 5th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics remain quiet as a whole today on June the 5th. 26 storms have formed so far, we've been waiting for quite a while now for the next one, number 27. And no signs it's going to form anytime soon, at least maybe this week. Invest 91L is really dying now, near 0% chance and the National Hurricane Center have given up any hope of this system forming. The Eastern Pacific has nothing going on on day 22 of hurricane season there. So we're looking for a little bit of a later start this time around. The Western Pacific and the North Indian Ocean are also quiet, but still signs of activity later on this week or into next week. And in the Southern Hemisphere, nothing is going on at this time, although a very weak feature could be developing in the Southwestern Indian Ocean. Invest 91L currently looks like this. Uh, 30 mile an hour winds, 1,008 millibars, around 139 miles from Tampico, Mexico. Um, the National Hurricane Center say that this system has now degenerated into a trough, so it's very difficult to pinpoint the center of this system, really, um, or indeed a forecast, but this is just a general idea of where it's going to track towards the north and west, towards Texas, where it could deliver some significant rainfall, tropical moisture heading up towards the state and could dump large amounts of rainfall in the area. You can see how the system is looking there. Wind shear is rising up through 20 knots now um, and little bits of convection, um, but most of it is on the eastern side, quite far removed from the center of the system. The North Atlantic as a whole looks like this, pretty quiet right now as you take a look there across the ocean. Again, you can see the very edge of 91L's influence on the left hand uh, side of your screen. Um, but really the rest of the Atlantic is very quiet indeed, nothing going on. The Gulf of Mexico, where you can see the system itself, there it is right now, good look there at Invest 91L. Um, I would say developing, but it really isn't towards the uh, coast of Mexico and Texas. This is what the Eastern Pacific looks like out in the open ocean, very little going on, a line of uh, tropical storms there. Um, thunderstorms that is uh, stretching across the ocean really uh, in the central and eastern Pacific there but nothing of note the Western Pacific is much the same very low latitude uh, normal equatorial storms that are occurring and further towards the west you can see some flare-ups off the eastern coast uh, the western coast sorry of the Philippines and into the South China Sea in the Australian region and the South Pacific, things very quiet here. A massive frontal system continues today. It's probably day three of that very broad system that's been chugging along there. The Indian Ocean is becoming quite a bit more um, disrupted by the looks of things here. And you can see a lot of uh, thunderstorms occurring along the equator. Uh, this could develop into something in the Arabian Sea in the next few days. One or two models suggesting not one but two systems in the Arabian Sea. We'll wait and see on that. Uh, the sea surface temperatures look like this, around 30 degrees in the eastern Pacific there. Where 91L is, they're around 28 degrees Celsius. And in the Caribbean, most of the uh, uh, sea there is around 28 degrees Celsius as well, or thereabouts. And the Arabian Sea, which we might be watching for next, very warm here, 30 degrees plus. The Bay of Bengal, which one of the models uh, was talking about possible development a few days ago, also very warm. And the South China Sea is also a place that we could be looking for our first or our next Western Pacific storm um, because there is the possibility of a flow up there next week. This is what Invest 91L looks like right now. You can see how it's looking there and you can sort of see a little bit of rotation down there towards the uh, bottom, um, much further to, uh, southeast of where the National Hurricane Center is putting the system, but it really pales into insignificance really because it's all being sheared away towards the east um, and it's just going to deliver some residual rainfall and nothing particularly organized. The next name in the Atlantic is Barry. A lot of people thought we'd be getting it from this system. It hasn't happened. The next name, the first name in the Eastern Pacific is Alvin. The next name in the Western Pacific, Sepat. And in the North Indian Ocean, it's Vayu. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com, with the latest. Our YouTube page, if you're not there already, please subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can also find our Facebook and Twitter pages, search Force 13, all in text. 
at Force 13 on Twitter. We'll be running tropical weather bulletins this season as long as there are systems to track. If 91L goes and nothing takes its place, we'll be back whenever the next system forms. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord, it's Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.